When you normally think great, you think celebrity, famous person. To me, great means my grandfather, John Apella. John Apella was born in Graham, Texas on January 5th, 1945. He was born into a family with three brothers and two sisters. And his family originated from Czechoslovakia. Starting out, he uh, he started out wanting to be an airplane pilot, but he was he was too tall for that. So he then went into machines and served in the National Guard for seven years. He also served in Henrietta as a deputy sheriff. And he also served in the Army and went to the college for a couple of years. Uh, later on, he met my grandmother, and they settled down and made a family. And in that family, my two aunts and my dad were both were all born. He tried his best to be a great dad. He always took the family out to travel. They traveled to many places, they traveled all over. My grandpa especially traveled to China and Scotland, and he loved the history, and he always liked to hunt and to fish. And he loved to joke, and he made new friends everywhere he went. He always tried his best to be a great dad to my dad, and he helped with the Boy Scouts when my dad was really little. And he always tried to be very supportive. And he, he always tried to be there for his family, but his job always had him moving around. But no matter how far he went, he was still a good dad and took care of the family. He loved to help his community. He played the dulcimer and played for seniors and schools, and he made a small group. He worked at rodeos, and he liked to go watch baseball games. And he worked for Dowell, the Dowell Company. And he always wore Western clothes because he was so tall that was the only thing that fit him. And later, when I was born, he did his best to be very supportive, but he later got MS and was put into the nursing home. And he didn't, this prevented him from traveling. And He wanted to continue traveling, but being in the nursing home, we just normally brought him pictures of different places. And then on September 22nd, 2017, he passed away. And they took his ashes to Czechoslovakia to be with his family again. And although he is gone, this man left a great impact on my life. <laughs> okay, what's the time back there? Uh, four minutes, two seconds. Four minutes, two seconds.